Welcome back to Crown's Crypto Cave and welcome to this next entry within this options tutorial series. Today we will be focusing on the next Greek and that is Gamma. Now, before we really get into it, I want to simplify this. I do not want this to be overwhelming. That's the antithesis of what this whole series is about, is to simplify. And what Gamma is at its core is it's just telling you about the rate of change in your deltas with regards to price action. So again, if you're more mathematically minded, you can think of this as a derivative of delta. Essentially, if we are positive Gamma, that means for every one dollar increase one point increase in the underlying aka price of whatever we're trading responds to a one point increase in our in our delta number if we are short one gamma then that means for every one down tick in price action we will actually gain one delta why is that well, remember it's going to be two negatives make a positive so if i'm negative if i'm negative gamma but price action goes down then naturally that means my deltas go up if i'm long gamma and price action goes down then my deltas will go down if i'm long gamma and price action goes up i will gain more deltas to the upside so again, it just tells us about how our position is going to react with response to the underlying with regards to the delta. Again, not trying to jump up my words there, but we can go into the into the smorgasbord really quick. I actually do have a position on. This is my streamer account. Losing so much money right now. Of course not. This is essentially covering. I'm basically doing a couple of uh, couple of covered puts and a couple of covered um, calls as well that kind of meet up with my underlying spot positions, which we'll actually get into some examples later on in this series. But basically, your gammas are going to be right here. And as you can see, I am actually short gamma right now. Very, 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 very small it basically makes no difference but what does that tell me that tells me that I'm basically shorting options so how do you in the first place get short gamma how would you get short gamma well short gamma comes from selling options and you know this to be true intrinsically because when we're shorting options we're quite literally going against the grain if we are long options, if we're long a call, if we're long a put, then that means that we essentially either want price action to go up or price action to go down. So it's quite simple when you think about it that way. Longing options will only ever produce long gamma, no matter if it's call or a put, because when we have long gamma, positive gamma, that means that our deltas move in lockstep with the price of the underlying. By the other nature, when we sell options, that complicates the equation, right? Because now our deltas are going to be going inverse with price action. So you can know very quickly at a, uh, at a glance, you know, what sort of strategy you're running. I mean, if you're, if you're going to be, sh you know, selling straddles, selling, uh, selling spreads, all these sorts of different things, you're likely going to be short gamma to represent that. There's going to be ranges. Of course, this is getting way out of context right now. We'll actually get into some examples of those strategies later on in this video, in this series. But for now, it very, 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 very simple. Gamma is, to wrap this up, <laughs> for... for for the, for the last time, just the rate of change of our deltas with response to the price of the underlying. Positive gamma means that our deltas will go in the direction of the price action. That means if the, if the price action goes up one point, we will gain one long delta for every one long gamma that we are. If price action goes to the downside, we will gain one short delta for every one tick of the price action to the downside. Granted, we have one gamma. Got that out properly. <laughs> Might have been a little bit wordy there. If we're short gamma, then that means whenever price action ticks up, our deltas are going to go down. One, you know, one one point increase in the price action equates to one one delta decrease for every yeah, every point. And of course, if price action goes down, if the price is going down for every one point, if we are short gamma, then that means we will gain one long delta for every point down. 
Again, these videos are meant to be watched many times. I know this can be very overwhelming when you're first starting, but understand that these, these tools here, the Greeks are, are here to simplify. It's here to give you a very quick snapshot into what your position is going to do with regards to price of the underlying. So with that said, I'm going to wrap up this video and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.